Hey guys, so I'm going to try and film a short little video of the arsenal and uh, some quick test shots just to show you how things are working and to prove that it is actually a real device. So this is the device. Slides into your hot shoe. Cable goes into the side of the camera. Go ahead and fire things up. Turn the camera on first. Turn the arsenal on. Once that blinks, you can open the app. Wants to join the Wi Fi network. And there's the live view of the scene that I've got here. You can toggle the live view with the button up at the top. And I'm running this on an iPad which is unsupported so the UI is a little bit squished here. But you can see the individual pieces of data that the arsenal is pulling in. So because there's low vibration it has a really high shutter speed that it can go to. There's low scene movement, you know, set to a low ISO, etc. If I wave my hand in front of the camera, for example, you'll see the scene movement value go way down. And then it goes back up as the scene becomes calm again. So we'll test out some of the basic shots first. Let me make sure I have it in the right settings here. Turn off focus stacking for now. And if you hold down, well, let's set it to single point, single point focus for now. So you can hold down on the screen and pick a particular focus point. And it's focused. Then you just tap the button to take the shot. And the shot pulls up in the gallery here with all the statistics and everything that goes with it, the metadata. We've got just the one photo in the gallery so far. So then we can try a couple of the different stacking options here. Let's see. So we'll do an HDR stack really quick. And let's just do three shots. We'll just leave it on two steps. That's fine. We'll keep the same focus point. It'll take all three and then stitch them together. So that was obviously a very long exposure for the bright for the brightest of the three HDR images that it's taking. Then you'll see the individual images come in one at a time. And then eventually you'll see that gray stack box become the exposure bracketed HDR shot. So it's completed there. Pull that up. I have noticed that sometimes it takes a little while to load the full image in for one of those stacks to load it into the app, but if you give it some time, it usually works. Sometimes you have to back out once or twice, but I assume they'll take care of that eventually. So there's the resulting stacked image. 
And if we go do a focus stack, for example, we can try one of those. Do five shots. And you have to set the multipoint focus to do that. So we'll start with the close point here. You can see the camera is focusing here. Okay, and he's got a green icon indicating that that's done, and then we'll go for the back of the scene for my second focus point. So one interesting thing, since the focus stacking uses the multi-point focus option, um, it goes through and does the setting optimal focus distance and picking the aperture as if you were taking one shot, um, which I think is, I feel like they should have two separate modes, one for multi-point and one for focus stacking, but that's a small complaint. So that's done. So then we'll take our focus stack, which will take a little while. go starting focus stack and it'll count through the shots one at a time and we can watch the focus you know, bounce around as it's taking each individual shot Okay, so all five shots are done, and it's the same process to watch the photos come in. You get, you know, all five photos, and then the stack will complete eventually. It does seem like the focus stacks take a little longer to complete, but... So we'll wait for that to finish and take a look at the results. So it loads in a low resolution copy first and then once that progress bar fills up it will load the full resolution copy in. And that's where I've been seeing a little bit of bugginess that it doesn't always seem to load correctly the first couple times you try it. But again, hopefully that's something they can take care of soon. Um, so you can clearly see it's not the full resolution version yet. It may still be completing the stack in the background, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, hopefully that gives you a quick idea that uh, things are mostly working and it is a real functional device that exists and I hope you get yours soon. Thanks.